Hey guys, Herman here from Visaya. What do you think is the relationship between this ball and level measurement? Today I come to a squash club in Berlin to find it out. Level measurement is one of the most important measurements in the industry. The technologies used to perform this measurement have evolved from throwing rocks and dipsticks to modern instruments. Ultrasonic and radar technologies are the standard for reliable level measurements in tanks for solids and liquids. These technologies use mechanical and electromagnetic waves to determine the distance between the sensor and the products. They work using measuring principles called time of flight or TOF. I will be using the squash ball to explain this principle. The ball represents the emitting wave that is shot against a fluid or a solid represented by the wall. If you know the speed of the ball, you can calculate the time it takes for the ball to hit the wall and come back. Thus, you can calculate the distance or level of a product at any given time. Ultrasonic level transmitters use piezoelectric sensors that emit acoustic waves that travel at the speed of sound. This has been an affordable solution for level measurement for a long time, but the signal can be affected by the temperature and pressure in the vessel. Also, if the surface is not homogeneous, like for turbulent fluids or liquids with foam, the signal will have too many echoes and it will not be accurate. On the contrary, radar technology uses electromagnetic waves that travel at the speed of light. These waves are not affected by the press conditions, turbulence or foam, just like I'm trying to represent here with the squash ball. What a nice rally! For this reason, radar is one of the preferred technologies for level measurement. Well, of course, it has its drawbacks. First of all, it's a little bit pricier than other technologies. And second, it doesn't work well with fluids with low dielectric constants. To keep it simple, the dielectric constant will determine if the signal will bounce back or absorb by the medium. I want to show this with my squash bag. You can see that when the ball hits the wall, it bounces back. But as soon as it hits the bag, all the energy is absorbed and the ball doesn't come back, ruining a good rally. I tried to use one of my colleagues to do this demonstration, but I don't know why they didn't offer. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and I see you next week.